At the start of the clock, at the end of the night, the dawn leapt up and caused a fright. The shadow yelped a yelp so yelpy that his yelp yelped with yelping anguish. The shadow attacked with anger and spite to destroy all the dawn's distressing light. They battled for eons, perhaps even years, an unpleasant business full of glares and sneers. The war sent them far and wide. They flippered over to Mount Snibble's side, which was squished to rubble and rocks, terribly uncomfortable in their socks, which the dawn could not stand, you see, for he had a horrific gravel allergy. The shadow knew of that secret condition, otherwise only known by a clandestine physician. But the dawn received no rash or spot, only his memory filled with rot, lacking records of his loss and disgrace or any of the loathsome things that took place. Yet this attack fest was not the first that passed, nor would it be the last. For after every leap of the sun, the day ended in darkness, for the shadow had won.